I'm Jade, our wedding photographer for today's wedding shoot with Raj as well. <laughs> so over this way, we've got a lovely groom just having a snack here. <laughs> and then behind, we've got Lou, our makeup artist with one of the bridesmaids. And then over in this corner, we've got Emma Jane, our hairstylist, with our lovely bride. Okay, I'm here in Patterns today. Uh, we're going to do a bridal um, wedding shoot with a group of about 40 people. Um, we've got bride and groom, uh, sorry, the groom and groomsmen down here at the moment doing some photos. Uh, Jay's shooting the groom at the moment, and uh, I'm about to shoot the groomsmen. Um, the venue, as you can see, is uh, looking fantastic, um, and we're just trying to play around with what we can get out of um, uh, taking our time and shooting something a little bit different. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get up on a chair and uh, take some uh, from above shots, aerial shots of the food uh, while it looks so pretty and before people start eating it and the guests arrive. So I just go up there. I like to make everyone feel really comfortable in front of the camera to get those nice natural moments because sometimes people find a camera a bit daunting, but we like to have a laugh and a mess about. I'm getting shots from multiple locations and multiple angles to give us a lot of variety, so we've got a lot of choice when we get to the uh, um, edit and uh, get to picking the images back home. As there's two of us photographing, it means we can work really efficiently, giving us a lot more leeway to get as many shots as possible to save time and be less intrusive on the guests, so everyone can have a good laugh and be nice and comfortable. When everyone's eating, we try and keep out of the way a little bit. No one likes to be videoed eating. Um, it's, it's not the most flattering time, so we, uh, we, we take a step back at this point. The light is not perfect around here, so we've got a lot of equipment with us. We tend to bring as much as we can, um, just to make sure we're, we're, we're prepared for any environment. We've got reflectors, um, and we've got flash guns um, with soft boxes as well. Um, with, with a variety of different soft boxes and beauty dishes, just to make sure that we have everything for every, any scenario. I tend to work with speed lights a lot, particularly with the setup shots um, of the bride and groom. The rest of it I tend to try and go with natural light, but Jade uses natural light a lot, so we get a nice variety of images uh, throughout, the, throughout the day. The after dinner shots is where we often get the best stuff. It, people more relaxed and, uh, and broken the ice a little bit. Um, it's most fun for us as well, because uh, it's always a laugh. The venue has a club here, so we're going to go in there and do some shots um, of the bride and groom doing, having a dance. But in those sort of situations, I take flash guns, and I take two flash guns usually to put one on either end, all triggered by radio. That way I can uh, take some nice shots no matter what the venue looks like, and it, it catches out on the smoke. It looks beautiful. So that's the end of the day now. Everyone's eaten, we've had the first dance, everyone having a good laugh, lots of dancing, and we're ready to pack away now.